you all for taking the time to hear this pitch. We are here to improve the, the uh, patient experience by mining the healthcare data. So the first thing, I want to introduce ourselves. This is Zuli Lee, and he is a student at St. Clair, and he's studying network computing, he's a software programmer. I am Robert Brooks, and I am an engineer by trade working at Henry Ford Health Systems, modifying EMRs for population health. And there's a hidden person in the background that's been around with us, and we just can't figure out who that is. <laughs> so let me step you through the problem. Since we're focused on the patient experience, we want to focus on time. 80% of processes within healthcare are full of waste. And when I say waste, I'm talking about waiting, um, redoing processes, moving around. You guys should be saying, wow, because 80% is big. So if, you, thank you, thank you. so if you think about it, if you go to an office visit with your doctor, it takes about 115 minutes. Well, you're spending about 90 minutes in waste, and the rest is actually seeing your doctor. So, let me step you through a solution. And here's an example. That data there that you have is a database. Essentially, every entry of data is entered into the database with a timestamp. Every click is entered into the database with a timestamp. So what we want to do is to extract exactly what we need. Exactly what we need, that's very critical. And once we do that, we will process it with software called process mining software. And what we can do is visually, this should be another aha, visually, see the data and identify the problems. Like here's an example, we're talking about um, a, a certain portion of the, of the workflow which is rooming the patient. So this is a medical assistant who's actually rooming the patient and you can see there is a bottleneck. And that bottleneck is related to uh, actually uh, patients waiting in the, in the lobby. And so what has happened when they tried to identify a reason why that was going on, when they looked at their EMR, they really couldn't see, give any visual signals to identify that the patient was waiting. So there was modifications that was made to the EMR to make it more visually uh, easy to identify that when the patient registered it was yellow and then when the patient's ready it turns green. So then the next step, you see another uh, uh, problem within the workflow and that's rework. And what is happening here, the, the medical assistant actually has to enter work twice. Okay, and by entering work twice, that means she has to enter into a questionnaire and into a, uh, into a note into the EMR. Well, if that's kind of modified where they can extract both for the, uh, the questionnaire and the um, EMR notes from the same place, she doesn't have to do it twice. So that's 115 minutes. We come up with a solution to improve it. We get more straight lines. Now you see, aha, it's 94 minutes. That's an improvement. Once we make this an improvement, it becomes a standard. And when it becomes a standard, it's easier to make continuous improvements. So next steps. We want to develop street credit, we want to own the concept, and we want to explore business opportunities. Okay, uh, questions. Is this, is this really a technology solution or is it a process mapping solution? Uh, it is both. Okay, so when you depends on how you define uh, technology, because right now when you think of process mapping, what can be done is the fact that people go out and they just put up a piece of brown board on the paper and they mapped it out. The data sits there, so now you use technology to extract it from the database to visually identify. And then there's software to actually mine the data to give you exactly what the uh, uh, problems are in the work. Yes? Go ahead. Have you done a percentage of consulting? Okay, if you if you've noticed, all the pitches that we're giving today have timestamps. Okay, so there's a service for the software. So is there a? That's why I said let's explore the business opportunity. I gave you one little slice of an opportunity, showing you how it can be used. <laughs> but everybody that pretty much gave a pitch today was talking about boom, a click somewhere and somewhere of entering data, which essentially can utilize this process. And how would you convince the hospital or physician to change? I, I think they actually know how much, they, they don't need the data to know that they make people wait. So how would you make them change what they're doing? You know? and, and that's a very good point. Change doesn't necessarily happen by technology. So that, that's a management, a leadership piece. The, the beauty of this is you can utilize uh, the actual visuals to show you 
what is going on. So now leadership has to convince everybody that is you need to do something different. And if you can show statistically there is a difference, evidence-based should be a way to make them change. Okay. Thank you very much, guys.